A car explodes, and tonight, while one person is recovering, another did not survive. It happened in Washington Township on Grants Trail, and Fox 45's Amber Watson takes us there. Well, police tell us that car was heading down this road pretty fast, and once the driver came to this curve in the road, that's when he lost control. Several people on this block woke up to the sound of this car crashing into this tree. There was a huge bang again, and a ball of fire went up in the air. And I went down to look at it, and it was, it was a monstrous fire. I was afraid our neighbor's house was on fire. But instead, it was this car that was on fire. Two 21-year-old men were inside. Officers say the driver clipped the curb and smacked into the tree, splitting the car in half, causing the gas tank to explode. Passenger of the vehicle was uh, ejected and was laying in the street. Uh, a neighbor had come out to help uh, with the victim and pulled him um, all the way across the street. The passenger died on the scene. Investigators don't believe he was wearing a seatbelt. The driver was taken to the hospital. He had a brief conversation with the deputies, and I won't elaborate on that. Um, but he was had his injuries, and I think just based on what he saw and the events that happened, he was in shock. Both men are from the area, and deputies say they believe the driver was dropping the passenger off. It's suspected alcohol may be involved, and neighbors we talked to say they've never seen this before. This isn't somewhere where you'd, you'd look for a traffic fatality, you know, a little street like this. And what they were doing, I just, you know, you got to kind of assume there might have been some alcohol involved. And several people we talked to say they're just shocked to see this crash happening right outside their homes. And now they say their prayers are with the victims' families. Reporting in Washington Township, Amber Watson, Fox 45 News. There are a lot of kids in that neighborhood. The man in the hospital is expected to recover, but officers tell us he may soon be charged with vehicular homicide. And we've just learned the victim of that crash was 21-year-old Jonathan Andrus.